Hey what's up guys, in this short video I will show you some resources which can be very useful in our web applications when it comes to utilizing CSS to do complicated stuff. In today's world, most of the things that we want to do in our projects have probably already been done somewhere and is available on the web. All we need to do to use them in our projects and then to utilize those resources is to just be aware about them. In this video, you will see three of those resources which are pretty useful and will take a whole lot more time and creativity when implemented from scratch. And they are also free to use, so don't worry, use them as you like in your projects. The first one is the color gradient generator. This little tool can be used to quickly generate gradients for our user interface components. Because gradients are everywhere these days, they are used in buttons, panels, section backgrounds, etc. When we have to create a gradient, we usually try to do it ourselves and then refreshing the page trying to see smaller updates. This takes too much time and if there is a way to minimize that, then we should do that. This tool can be used just for that. We can use this tool to quickly generate gradients of different types. There are a bunch of parameter settings which we can use to change the look and feel of the gradient which we want to generate. There are also different kinds of themes available which we can apply to the gradients like they can be multiple colors, they can be only two colors etc. Also in this tool there is a large amount of pre-created or predefined gradients available and we can select one of them which we want to use in our project and then we can make some changes to it by using all of these parameter settings. So after you are done creating the gradient color that you want to use let's say for a div background in your web page then all we need to do is to simply click on this button get CSS code and then we just have to copy this entire thing or we can simply click on this copy button and it will be copied. Now in the web page let's say that we want to apply this gradient as the background for this div we just need to paste the copied contents or the copied property and value pairs into this style attribute and then we just have to run the page to see how it is looking and there you go here is our gradient color which is set as the background of this div so i would say that this small tool is very useful and just try it out once to see if it can be useful for your projects or not Second one is CSS Gram and it is a library which contains a bunch of CSS classes which we can use to apply Instagram like filters on the images in our applications. To use CSS Gram, all we need to do is to first get its reference which is um, this CDN URL. So we just need to copy and paste this link element within the head of our web page. Like over here, we just have to paste it in the head and then we will be able to fetch its reference from the CDN. After doing that, to apply any of the filter to the image in our web page, all we need to do is to copy and paste one of these class names as the value of the class attribute for our images. For example, if I want to use this filter, this um, Valencia filter, then all I need to do is to simply copy it and then paste it as the value of this class attribute like over here and now save this web page. And there you go, the filter has been applied. Do try the different filters to see which one suits more for your web application. The last one for this video is water.css. So water.css is a style sheet which we can use when we just want to quickly create some kind of demo or a static page or website and we don't have time to individually style all of the elements contained inside it. Just get the reference of water.css using its CDN URL for one of the themes and that's it. All the elements within the web page will be styled automatically. What makes this style sheet even more useful is that there is support for light and dark mode which depends on preferred color scheme media attribute. So you can be sure that a user's global preference will be applicable for this style sheet too. I would not advise to use this style sheet for a production application but hey nobody is stopping you to do that if you really want to. So that would be everything this short video has to offer. Thank you so much for watching it and please use the comments area to talk about anything. Subscribe to the Code First channel for more such videos and I hope to see you soon. Till then, stay safe and have a great time.